guy has nothing but serious over on his face. Chuck, I feel like we've had a blast, and we still have got a couple of know, great it's ones to go. Kind of like we've got to ride the roller coaster one more time. Yeah, seriously. We've been on it all night. <clears throat> Coffee pro uh, probing with a jab here to start things out. I'm definitely not intimidated by anything. No, point. no. <clears throat> And a good reversal there by Hampton. If there's one thing we know about these Agogi fighters is they will implement the wrestling and the grappling in a very effective way. And there's a double like high amplitude. When a heavyweight slams you like that, you're definitely gonna feel it. I saw Torres Finney cheering his camp mate on there. It looked like one of his takedowns. John Hampton landed some punches to the body there. You can hear them all the way from where we're sitting. These men are carrying some power. Chuck, an interesting note about both of these fighters in their six combined fights. They've never gone to decision. Wow. So when they win, they win inside the distance, and when they lose, they lose inside the distance. Oh, Hampton has got some heavy That's, hands right now. Off on him. Coffee's got to be careful not to suffer any, any meaningful blows here. Half guard here for John Hampton. You know, if either of these gentlemen need a walkout song in the future, Angry Johnny would be a good one for either one of them, yeah. the way they fight. Hampton maintaining side control. When a guy that big is on top, yeah, it is hard to get out from underneath. Although we got a little scramble going north-south. Coffee gets back to his yeah, feet. Yeah, back to his feet. Coffee he's, very poised. He just, you know, he's calm, taking yeah. his time. Another takedown. Well, he's got a Hampton. neck. I think he grabbed a neck, but I don't know. Very difficult to end the fight here with a guillotine from half guard. About 45 seconds to go in this first round. I mean, if you've ever picked up an object where you're straining your bicep mm -hmm. and you hold on to it for two minutes and you set it down, that's about what you do to your arms when you try and hold a guillotine that long. Hampton moves into mount, posturing on the cage, ref Sorry. telling him, get your hands out of the cage. Finds a home for that right hand on the pad. Coffee's got to get out from here. Well, Coffee's oh, been taken down twice, but feet. found his way back to the feet. Hampton's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah. Coffee smells blood, but he ran right into a takedown. Well time takedown. And that'll do it for round one. Some blood on Hampton there. Looks like his top of his nose is cut. That's a testament to Coffee's hands because he didn't get many shots in, but at the end of the round he landed a flurry and it has opened up a pretty sizable gash on the bridge of the nose of Hampton. No stool for John Coffey. No he said, I don't want to sit. What, that's what I was going to say. He just showed his corner. He didn't want to sit. I take a look at the corner for Hampton. They are. Uh, He's breathing hard and sitting down. Oh, this is very intriguing here. Cutman Mark Law is tending to that. Uh, it's a gash right on the bridge of the nose. I don't think it'll affect his vision, but Jonathan Coffey with some heavy hands. He said he was looking forward to punching an opponent in the face. And at the end of that round, he made it count. Definitely have to keep an eye on that cut. Cutman did a good job, but that's in a tough, yeah. tough one, spot. That's a bleeder. One more spot or one more hit, and that'll be open again. You gotta believe Jonathan Coffey's gonna try and find a home for a couple jabs. Coffee with some confidence takes the middle of the ring. He's gotta be careful not to get overzealous. A couple of big misses there by Hampton. A takedown is what the doctor ordered for John Hampton. Oh, absolutely. Coffee trying to find an extra underhook there to. Well, those shots are. Yeah, a couple good shots to the side of the head. Heavy enough to bother him. Good balance by Coffee as he avoids the uh, the slam from Hampton. Hampton looks determined to get these legs. Oh, the uh, standing guillotine attempt. It might just be the fourth to take down.
at heavyweight, it's so hard to jump on a guillotine because these guys' necks, yep. they're so so thick and muscular, it's hard to, so hard to find say, a guy's neck. so neck. thick and muscular, you can't, can't get them to go down. Definitely a different feel from the first round. Less aggressive. Coffee showing good athleticism to stay on his feet there. Absolutely. And he's got to be careful not to run into a submission attempt. He's in the side control now, and he's moving quick. He's definitely quick for a big he's guy. He's racking up the and blows. He's ground and pounding this gentleman. Jonathan Coffey coming alive here in the second round. Yeah. Hampton's in trouble. Hampton's yeah, got to get out of this tough. position. Jonathan Coffey putting some extra oomph on these shots. Yep. Hampton rolled to try and escape, but he is sustaining damage. The referee's taking a long look at this one. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't stop it. This might be another accumulation of damage scenario. I'm counting a, I mean, we're going on about 30 to 40 unanswered blows here. Yeah, but like I said, I'm kind of shocked. Oh, and it's that's, getting that's heavier. It. That's going to do it. it. Jonathan Coffey yep. gets his third amateur heavyweight win. And a complete about face of how he won the second round and the first round. I mean, the first round was more aggressive and, and, and uh, you know, on the ground a lot. And now, now he's killing this corner, man. <laughs> Chuck, you and I are seeing a lot of stuff the same way tonight. That was amazing. And here's the fight ending sequence. As you see, uh, Jonathan Hampton was already bloodied. Jonathan Coffey uh, showing great hand speed, showed great agility to avoid the takedown early in round two. Uh, Jonathan Coffey definitely on my radar now. And Aries' heavyweight division is starting to fill out a little bit. I'm amazed at the uh, just the poise of the big man. I mean, just amazing. Yeah, the future's very bright. Uh, to be able to, to shirk off that wrestling after you succumb to it in the early part of round one, he's got to be in great cardiovascular shape. Oh, now the dancing is ensuing. He is fired. <laughs> well, we've been treated to do a lot of finishes. This was a second round finish for Jonathan Coffey getting his third amateur MMA victory. And once the cage comes down, I think this man will be on the dance floor. He is into it right now. He's showing out. Jeff Hop standing and observing the celebration. And now we're going to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee stops this bout in one minute and 45 seconds of the second round. Your winner by way of technical knockout out of the blue corner, Jonathan Coffey.